part of death, it's, it's a part of life, but it's also about, um, it's about sort of being welcomed back home, being welcomed back. Everyone deserves to, uh, when they come into the world, they're held. Everyone deserves to be held when they die. There was a story over in, um, about a school in Cleveland, Ohio, who buried the homeless and the indigent. And I had Dr. Holmes listen to the story, and I said, if they next could uh, begin a program to help him and, and help those who died who were poor to uh, get in touch with me. And from that moment on was the beginning of the St. Joseph Arimathea Society. Dr. Holmes came to me and he said, would you like to coordinate the burial program with Ben and with St. X. And I said, I'd love to. So initially when I first began in April of 06, I was just moving into overseeing the burial program on a daily basis. Regardless of what circumstances you lived, regardless if you were homeless, regardless if you were um, if committed crimes, or what, regardless if you were the most wealthy person in the world, we're all going to die at some point and we're all going to go home. 90% of the time, there's never um, a minister there, so that's why it's so important to have the students. That sort of sense of um, equal playing field, um, that sort of sense of equality, that sort of sense of we should all sort of treat each other in the same way, because um, we're all going to come to this world in the same way, and we're all going to leave it in the same way. When you're burying people, I think some of the toughest ones are the ones that you are often at, where we have a homeless person. For example, we're burying a lady tomorrow, we haven't found any family. I thought it was a really good experience because no one really deserves to pass on on their own and even having someone that you don't know there is better than having no one there. I was pretty nervous about doing the funerals and just kind of participating in it, but after one or two, I really kind of uh, clung to so it. So the next phase of, our, of the St. Joseph Arimathea Society is to actually start making headstones ourselves. And we've been working with a gentleman who is now able to make the headstones for $40 a piece. It's sort of what you do with your life, what you do before you die, and what you, between your birth and death, that that's what sort of makes things important. Um, and I think I've learned a lot about how to live um, by watching and being with people die. Um, it's been a really interesting sort of transition.